Are you a couple looking for affordable luxury? We may have found it. Today we have an in-depth review of the luxurious 21.6 foot Regent Cruiser Caravan with a slide out club lounge. Okay, so as usual, we're at the start of the van looking at the hitch. This hitch is your traditional ball hitch. I'm not sure what else to call it, but it goes on a ball tow ball and yeah i think most people will have seen it standard ball hitch standard inclusion with most caravans these days is the electronic emergency braking system it does need to be hooked up to a point on the back of the vehicle uh, we've got a standard connector here for your your power and your indicators 12 pin plug um, standard handbrake moving back here we've got a standard um, clamp hinge for your jockey wheel. Where is the jockey wheel? Uh, it's in the funnel boot. The region comes standard with the Alco jockey wheel. Super simple to clamp in there and make height adjustments wherever you need. Uh, there is an interesting tray area here. I think this has got something to do with the gas. So let's just have a look. Ah, let's just break them off. I'm not scared. So opening this hatch up here, you've got dual gas bottles, quite a neat little setup in here. You can see the main regulator here has a switch at the top and two braided stainless steel flexible connectors. So a very nice setup there. The access is pretty good. You've got the stainless steel sheeting in here. So when you release your gas, you can bring it out and easily grab it and easily put it back in there. I don't mind this. Um, it's certainly a unique design. You won't see it on a lot of caravans. And, you know, it goes in well with the very molded angular front of the Regent caravans. Let's put this little cover back on. Just an elastic at the top there. Got it on. With the cable tight, there we go. That's all secure. We've also got a hatch here over the front windscreen. Open this up. Let me step up a bit higher here. This gets us to the window here, which obviously I can't open from here. You can open internally, but it also acts as a nice sunshade over the top of the window, keeps the weather out. So even if it's raining, you can have your window open and still get that ventilation. We also have a, a boot front boot here it's actually quite a decent space there is an led light up here so you can see everything in the dark yeah i think this is a reasonable size storage and the good news is it also has a side boot storage so this isn't the only storage let's go and have a look at what else we've got rest assured folks that isn't the only storage we've got a massive boot here look at this goes all the way through to the other side. This is absolutely gigantic. You could nearly fit a fold up bike in here, a few scooters, I don't know, a few children that are behaving. Um, here's your, your jack kit and all your other tools that you need just on the side of the wall here. We've also got the ratings and the masses. This is a tear mass of 3,046 kilograms. GTM of 3,294, an ATM of 3,500, a coupling load mass of 206. That's actually lighter than what I thought. And the load capacity is 454 kilograms. I think that's a little bit less than I was expecting. Trailer gross axle load rating, 3,500 kilograms. There you go, folks. Plenty of storage in there. Now, the cool thing about the region, they've got these side cameras. They're wireless and connect the supplied screen with the camera so you can avoid crashing into things when you're reversing around the caravan park. So we've got our standard reflectors and driving lights here and up the top. So the vehicle will be nice and visible at nighttime. Moving down, oh, watch your head. One thing that we have noticed, I love the electronic fold-out awning here. Big fan. 
I don't necessarily like smashing my head on things though. This is a little bit of a problem. It might need to have something hung off there so you don't run into that at night time because if you're as tall as me, six foot tall, it's exactly right here on your forehead where you run into it. So, I already smashed my head on this. Yeah, Tristan broke his I got face. A good Good feeling with it, good contact. So. Uh, but otherwise, the overall operation of the awning was super easy, touch of a button. The other really nice feature, it has an LED strip fully integrated down there. So at night, you can sit back and relax outside and still see what you're doing. And I suppose maybe that'll help you from not running your head straight into that. Um, huge big windows here. These are a tinted window, they're anti-shatter material. They're very easy to lock from the inside. There's just little latches, which we'll show you when we're in there. And yeah, great for getting that cross breeze straight across the main bed. Moving down, we have this fan favorite, the bubble handle, I like to call it. Reminds me of something maybe like from a disco or something in the 70s. Bit of a I don't know. Vibe. Yeah. But if you want to get into the vehicle and it's night time and you also like fancy things, this is it. This is an accredited manufacturer. Regent is accredited by the Caravan Industry Association of Australia. And this is built, the, the, the wall panels are fully insulated, XPS. Regent call this material Allopex. It's a trademark term that they use to describe their innovative wall panels. These are truly some of the best in the industry. It's great for insulation. It's great for strength and durability. And it looks great as well. There's not a single seam down this whole wall, which I think is quite good. Ah, this is another feature I want to show you as well. Why don't all caravans have this? Look, ready, one, two, three. It's a magnet and it holds the door. Who would have thought? Because I tell you what, those little latch things that you have to put on here, they just get ripped off because someone who's not thinking wants to close the door and they just pull it and it just rips that thing out. So magnets, everyone should have that. I think that's brilliant. Moving down, this is a dual axle model. Pretty decent looking tires on here. I don't mind the look of these rims either. It's pretty, pretty good look. I'm pretty happy with the overall rugged feel that it offers, even though it's a very futuristic and modern sort of design and, and styling, um, it has a bit of off-road ruggedness as well. We've got another large panoramic window here. This is straight into the kitchen above the sink. What a great view when you're in there prepping breakfast in the morning, looking out over the ocean or wherever you happen to be. Look at this bad boy. I don't know if you can see that in there, folks. There's a subwoofer, two mid-range, and two tweeters. So this is a really nice external system. What do you say we put some music on, Tristan, and Let's see it. if it sounds any good? There is an outdoor table. It's fully lockable, two locks as well. It's got these two little retaining strings here so it doesn't go any further. I think these aren't in the best position, to be honest. I think that could get in the way of putting your cheese and bickies and your Sauvignon Blanc out here. Um, I have seen in some other models a slightly different design, which I do prefer. The cool thing is though, there's a spirit level. We're exactly level. We've also got an antenna connection point. So perhaps you want to sit a telly here and run it off 12 volt or off the mains power point here. So you can hook up an external television system or any other thing that you want that needs power. Maybe you want to make smoothies in the morning outside. Watch your head, folks. Okay, moving around, we've got the side reflectors here up the top and we've got the LED brake light and indicator lights. We do have a rear bar here. Seems pretty tough. It has got this coating on it, which I noticed on the A-frame up the front as well. It's like a, a paint, but it's sort of like a, like a bed liner or a tough, a sort of tougher finish there, so that looks quite good. And as usual, every caravan has these drop down supports here so you can level it out and stop it 
shaking around, nothing special to mention there. Moving around, we do have this nice molded finish, which is sort of molded around the spare here. I don't mind the look of this, it's definitely a unique finish and gives it a bit of character, gives it a modern look. Uh, really nice little Regent logo there. You've got the Regent's Caravans uh, sticker up there. It does have a wireless camera mounted up the top there and just above that is your rear brake light. Moving around, you've got your number plate panel here with a, a, an illumination above it there so you can see that at night. Another set of brake and uh, indicator lights. This is cool, this is cool. Outdoor shower, above this you have an LED light. So if you do want to shower in the great outdoors and you know, probably can't get my kid off here in a public place, but maybe you're a, uh, in a private camping area, you could just let it all hang out and have a shower. That's lockable as well. Uh, what have we got here? This is the hot water system. It is, you can open it up to service in there if need be. Pretty good access, fully lockable. This is your toilet cartridge here. Very easy to unload. <coughs> Very easy to unload, he says while struggling. Very compact and portable. These are so easy to use, guys. Don't be scared of these things. They're pretty easy to empty. There's dump points in all major caravan places in Australia. Don't be scared of this system. It's pretty straightforward and easy. As you saw before, we are connected in mains power here. Standard 15 amp input. If there was an aerial that you wanted to connect to watch some telly, it goes in there. That's just an exhaust for the fridge and another exhaust up top there, just so the airflow gets around it. Same here. We've got two 95 litre water tanks in this region RCC216 and they're both lockable caps, easy to fill up. Moving around, this, you saw this come out of the side before. This is an impressive technology here. Look at the, this is a, an aluminium machined track here and there's gears inside here which slowly bring it out on a rail so you get that extra space. You do have a nice little side window here. You can fully open it up and get those cross breezes. Another large panoramic window here. At the moment, you can see we've got the reflective wind, uh, the sunshade on the other side. Because the sun's so bright today, we actually pulled it down and it keeps it a lot cooler on the inside. Moving around, we've got another window on the side here. You will also notice up the top there, covering this extension piece is a little awning. So if it does rain quite heavily and you have this out, the, the water can't get inside. It's fully protected from that awning. So that's a nice touch. Another massive window here. This opens out onto the main bedroom. And as, as you can see, we've got the sunshade there as well. Now we show you this from the other side. Massive big boot. So accessible from both sides of the van. And if you just duck down a little bit lower here, you can see two boxes here for your battery. It comes standard with a lithium ion battery and solar panel. It's already rigged up and ready to go, but if you really want to get off grid and need that extra power, you do have the spare battery box here, which you can whack another battery in there and really be set up for some off grid camping. Another wireless cam here from the sides. And that's it. Tristan, do you want to take us through on the inside? What's up travelers? Let's take a look inside this van. So firstly, the handle is quite different. In normal setups, you have a twist to the left or to the right to open the van, this one. Just pull up like that, pretty easy. And then you just pull it with your arm, connect it to the magnet wall here. Like with some of the other vans, we do have a fly screen wall set up here. So I'll show it to you from the inside. So lock it, unlock it. There we go, disconnect it, boom. So here's our setup, this is our little kind of full panel here and now we've got this open, get a bit of ventilation going inside with the fly screen setup. It is quite a nice hard fly screen. It's like a security you gotta like, screen. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really tough. It's not one of these flimsy just material ones. That's really durable. So let's shut that up. That's cool. 
And then we'll just do this. This is how you just keep it extra secure, make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Then quite a nice thing about this van that you also don't have with other vans is the ele electronic switch. So if you want to have a look at the switch here quickly, right over here, you just flick this and then it slides right out. So I just flick the switch and boom, it comes out our little steps. Let's jump in. Right here at the front, we've got our fire extinguisher here for our safety. Over here, we've got a light switch for the handle. So if you're at night and you're coming in the van and there's not much lighting or anything, you can just flick that so your handle easily grab it. Cool, now come on in inside. Let's take a look at this bad boy. So as you can see, it's actually quite nice and spacey in here. I'm a bit of a tall bloke. I'm about six foot two, so got quite a bit of... I thought you were six foot five. It depends on the day. Today I woke up six foot two, but I've got quite a bit of head clearance in here, which is quite nice. Got our bed set up over here. It's actually, just from lying on it for a second, it's actually a pretty comfy bed. What's actually quite nice about this is you've got quite a nice amount of storage over here next to either side of the bed. Have your phone charging or oh, something you put it in there. In there yeah, that's quite nifty. Um, over here, we've got both of our reading lights, pretty standard with every van, um, nothing different. The nice thing about this though is you don't always have to have this little light next to the reading light on. Um, you can turn it on like that, or you can easily find it in the night if you're looking for your reading light, or you can just have it completely off so it doesn't bug you, just nice. like that. Quite cool. Right here next to this side of the bed, we've got plenty of storage here. This rolls out, that's actually quite nice when you're lying in the bed, let me just show you. From what it would be like if you're actually lying in bed, just open it up like that, get whatever you want out of this. And then right here, we've got some more storage down there. We've got some more storage space. You can hang some clothes up up there. You can do that. Um, you got some extra, Secret. extra storage. This actually opens up here where we originally showed you. So this is my hands going through the side of the bed. Then over our heads, we got this here. So you got a bit more storage. And then again, some more space up here. Identical drawers, everything. Cool. Now let's have a look at this window. I actually kind of like this finish of the screens here on the windows. It is quite nice. Doing a really good job at blocking out the heat. Yeah. I don't know if you noticed that. Yeah, but... it's not that hot in here, which is, it's amazing. So this is our fly screen. We do have a soft material fly screen over here, but you can actually see how harsh the sun is out there. And when we do that, it just completely blocks it out. The light here is actually coming from the other side and the reflectors. So that is quite nice about this van. Uh, this is how we open up our window and chuck that bad boy open. And I notice these have like clips so you can adjust it wherever you want. Yeah, just and secure it in like that. It does go yeah. out really far. I do like the sound it makes when you've locked in the window. It does give it a bit of a click. And I don't know if you've noticed this, but it, see how it's got two different layers? You can yeah. have it with a slight of a breeze, yeah. Or, or like slightly ajar. Um, then we've got our main window over here. Again, another fly screen. Close it up like that. Of course, you can close this thing up outside and then block up most of the sun anyway, but this does give you a nice view outside. You can see what the kids and whoever's up to out there. Then on this ledge, we can also put a bit more stuff here. Here's our club lounge set up, so right here, you got quite a bit of space. This does actually convert into a bed. We'll show you how to do that in a second. You do actually have quite a bit of space in here, which is nice. This wouldn't be an ideal area for myself to sleep, but if you've got younger kids and whatnot, they can sleep in here. You can't put them in here. Maybe you can lie diagonally. I don't know. Let's try it. Let's, let's set up the bed, see if I can fit in it. And the verdict is I can actually fit. Maybe not entirely, but I'll sleep anywhere. And this is actually, I might just have a nap, Jason. You finish the video. Yeah, we've actually got three windows, which is actually quite nice. You can really get a lot of natural light in here. Um, and once again, we've got more reading lights up here. So, and we've got the LED finishing right here at the top. Uh, have a look over here. This is actually quite cool. You got your USB ports over here and they light up. So if you're in the night looking for it, you can spot it quite easily. Store some stuff up there. All the same size, basically. All right, this is our aircon setup. This remote's actually really easy to use. I do have a turbo setting that's just gonna, it might fly away. The roof might take off with that. So that's our aircon setup. And it feels like there's cold air coming out of it straight away. Over here, we've got a smoke alarm system. Here, we've got the arm for our television. So you can fold it up like this and then here, Lie in bed, watch a bit of TV, or you can have it set up here in the lounge system, just like that. Pretty cool setup. So, come have a look over on this side. This is where all of our main controls are, so. Okay, so now everything in the van is turned off. Now we're just gonna press it and press it again. Now we got power. So guys, this is how you do your slide out. So all you gotta do is you just hold either end of the button. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because then we still want to um, do some measurements in here, but that's how you do it. It's as easy as that. 
just holding a button literally and you just let go whenever you wanted to stop so you can have this any length you wanted to really until you meet reach the maximum um, then over here we've got an, our, our awning so in and out it's a fully electric awning you don't have to do a single thing other than hold the button which is quite nice uh jason you want to show them what it looks like as hard easy as that guys talk about a piece of cake right Um, let's have a look at our kitchen space. Battery charger and your controller for your solar panels and your fuse box and the main isolation switch. Here is where you can control the temperature of your hot water system. Um, over here, you got the plugs for your air conditioning, your fridge, your hot water system, everything. Cool. All right, let's move on. Over here, we've got our radio and kind of home van setup, if you will. So click home. Here we've got our different um, settings so we can connect to the radio, Bluetooth, USB. Um, I don't really know anyone anymore these days that uses a, <laughs> a USB for their music downloads, but hey, each to their own. Um, but connect to Bluetooth, we've tested out the audio already, it sounds pretty good, so we're happy with that. Then this is a really cool feature that you don't often find in vans. You can actually have your RV Wi-Fi in here and it's 4G internet, so that's pretty cool. Um, it's acting as a modem and you can see over here you've actually got a LAN internet connection so you can run an ethernet cable on there. Over here we've got some more storage. So yeah, you've got basically everything you need for your pantry really or utensils, whatever you want to put in there. It is a bit more generous than other vans with this. This is a nice black finish. It's got like almost a metallic feel to it so it is quite cool. Um, here we can run our water system. And over here, you've got your cool drinking water. Here, we actually have got the fan from our oven and for our um, cooking setup. So here's the lighting system. We actually got a clock on here as well, which is pretty nifty. That does come in pretty handy. You head up the There's roof of the van. Up there. Uh, let's open this up. Let's take a look at our, cooker, our cooking system. Cool, so here we've got an electric stove top and then here we've got the gas ones. Um, over here, you can also see the oven. Let's have a look at how spacious this oven is. So this is actually a double door oven. Not all vans have this feature. Some are only a single um, oven tray. That's so pretty big. Yeah, it is, it is pretty generous. You I mean, you get like yeah. two pizzas in there. You could get a yeah, chill, you could probably do like three. a roast dinner. Yeah, it's quite nice. And then again, you got a little more storage down there. Here's our microwave. Is this the best layout for, layout for a microwave in a caravan? I have seen better layouts where the microwave is set up here so you don't have to bend up and down all the time. But I mean, here's your microwave and it is a pretty good microwave. And then here we've got some more drawer space. Some more space over here, another rollout drawer. Maybe chuck all your spices and that in there or your cutlery, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, oh, here's a our bin. bin, a standard inclusive <laughs> bin, recycling and general waste. Let's pull it out, that was actually That's a really nice easy. Touch. A nice handle here, you can carry your, or your trash out if you wanted to, or just carry out your bins quite nicely, That's so you can give them a good nice. clean. Yeah, this is a very nice thing, not all vans have this, so that is nice that you don't have to go and get one or set one up, and it, it is just a nice pull out, that is so easy. Now here's quite a bit of space, and you can see all our water pipes and everything in here, so then we got some more open up drawers. That is a lot of space in there. That is really deep. Um, let's have a look at the next one. So yeah, we got our owner's manual and everything in here. So yeah, just basically another drawer. This is quite interesting actually. You can lock this up so that it at no point opens up during your travel. So this is, this is completely locked. Um, this could maybe even be childproof. I'm not sure if that's really the intended reason for it or not. But if we open this up, We've got a slide out pantry. So now you can chuck all your sauces in here, your That's spices, really cool. whatever you want to put in here. And not all vans have this. This is actually, That's nice. this is one of the first times we've seen this. So That's lux luxury. that is luxury. So perfect when you're cooking, you just open that look up that. and right yeah. in the kitchen. That's actually, that's really nice. Okay, yeah. now let's have a look at the top of the fridge. Here we go. Here's actually our main shelf. This, if you flick it, is going to turn off your main. So without this flicked on, you have no main power. We and we may have learned that the hard way, <laughs> exactly. Okay, now here's our fridge, with the handle over here? This is the freezer actually, so it's actually quite a nice spacious freezer. I mean, that's actually, that's cold, put your hand in here, feel that. Ah, it's yeah. on. Yeah, yeah it's cool. on. 
So then we got the fridge over here. Yeah, it is quite nice. You can just store stuff in there. I won't pull the tape off. I don't want to make our friends from Green RV mad, but yeah, this is. It's a nice. It's a decent fridge. fridge. Yeah, it is. It's and nice and there's like a the display lights. here. Quite nice and techy. Um, then we do have more space down there, and we've also obviously got all the pipes and that for the fridge. Cool, now we've got our hatch open here, or our skylight, so it does have LEDs there, you just flick that, turns it on. Um, standard, no different than anything else, just in case this is your first time watching a caravan video, we'll show you how to do it, so. Um, and then we've got the red twisties, um, to open it up, just flick that, open on either side again, and then we just open up our hatch, boom piece of cake. You can actually have like almost a fly screen for your skylight like that. Um, or you can just fully block out all the light with that. Come on into the bathroom kind of ensuite area here. We've got a rail to hang up our towels and whatever we want to. All right, we've got another window. So if you stink up the place, you can just get some fresh air in here. Uh, here again, similar to other caravans, we've got our ventilation system. You can just twist that up, open it, get some natural light in so it doesn't go all moldy. Uh, we do have two different settings in here. We've got one speed for the fan, and then we've got two speeds. Um, so there we go. And it's got an LED light over there as well. So pretty standard hues over here. We've got a fixed toilet paper roll. Um, I do like this more than phone other vans. Holder? Yeah, it can be a phone holder. It looks like it's an electric toilet. Like... Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. It's got an electric flush. That's cool. That is cool. Um, let's have a look in here. Quite a lot of space for this bathroom actually. So that's quite nifty. Let's have a look at how this is going to work with the toilet. Oh, we have a, a laundry basket in here. That's, that's nice. quite cool. That is very nice. Uh, open it up here. We got some more stuff going on over here. Lots of cables. Don't ask me what they do. Then this is a really nice sink actually. I like how this is nice bowl shape. It's very modern. It's like you, it you would see it in a renovation show. This looks like you would see it in a villa almost. You know, you just put like a little pot plant on there. Are we, are we getting it carried away? Is this is this going to be our next van? I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> uh, we got our water system over here. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. There's more. This is a proper. This is out in the movies, guys. What is this? That one probably doesn't open. That is nifty. And we got the LED lights underneath it. What is nice about this, if we just take a step back here and look at two handsome blokes, um, it's actually quite nice that this is all mirror. You do have more places to look at yourself. Jason loves to look at himself in the mirror. I think so this my is wife perfect for would appreciate having all the mirrors, the light, space for makeup. I think, you know. Your wife or you? Not me. For when you're doing your hair. I, I don't need these things. <laughs> <laughs> and we do have some more space up here, guys. Um, so that is pretty nifty. Uh, let's close that up. Then Jason, have a look at this over here. So some of the other washing machines we've seen so far, they've got the open top, but this one's actually got the front one and I do actually it's prefer cute. this. I don't know, I, I think it's just old school, so I like that. It makes it look like an actual yeah, bathroom, it like does. a house. It just adds to it. And then have a look at this over here, guys. So this shower door is glass. We've not seen that yet. It's this a is mirror, very bro. cool. Yeah, it's, 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 sorry, it's a mirror, it's reflective. Yeah. So now you've got plenty of mirror kind of angles here for yourself to so just look at yourself then come have a look this is actually quite a spacious shower it's super modern looking yeah look at this it's it is you could quite get nice. two people in there right come in and find out <laughs> right put the camera down here and let's just see how there we go yep. that, that is quite a bit we of space are in. yeah let's go this way okay we are in the shower tristan is seven foot four and very muscular, so it's Don't, quite amazing that I can fit in here. Yeah. It Trademark looks like guy. even a footrest down there. Yeah, it could be. Like you can put your your legs. Down you there can just you lie like that. Yeah. Legs. That is actually a really nice breeze right now. But yeah, again, same setup as we did right over there with, uh, by the toilet. So yeah. This is deluxe, man. It is, it is. It is a nice shower. There isn't too much space here to put all your junk, but I mean, what do you is really there need? maybe a shelf or something? I don't know what that fancy little shape means there. I think that's just a nice little design. This as well, it is. It is just really neat. It's modern. It's elegant. It's classy. Um, yeah. Do all the... Yeah, get everything out and... Yeah. 
but cool. Days. Happy days. Okay, it's that time of the review where we do all of the internal measurements so you know if you and your family can comfortably fit inside. So let's get the door. We have 59. So it's actually slightly narrower than some of the other ones, but basically the same. Let's not get over the top. Difference for yeah. Most what I would say like one centimeter difference. Okay, ceiling to roof is 1.98. Seems like that's pretty standard. The width of the main bedroom area is 2.18 meters in width. The length of the main bedroom to the headrest of the bed, I guess, is 2.24 meters. Length of the bed is 1.85 meters. Width of the bed, 1.5, not basically 1.6 meters wide. And the walkway on the side of the bed is 42 centimeters. Total length of the hallway down to the washing machine down there. Hallway length is 4.38 meters. Width of the cafe <laughs> of the club lounge is 1.84 meters. Depth is 1.38 meters. Let's just get from the seat to the second level ceiling here. That is 1.19. Length of the kitchen. This, this looks long. This looks like a long kitchen. 2.42 meters, 60 centimeters to the top of the cabinets. Uh, the width of the kitchen at the narrowest section is 68 centimeters at the narrowest point. At the widest point is 85 centimeters. The ensuite width is 1.44 centimeters. Depth, oh, we'll go between the, the, the cabinet and the wall, is 80 centimeters. That's quite a decent space actually, 98. So that's a, a large space. The longest length in the shower is a meter by the width of... Okay, so I'm here under the Regent Cruiser looking at the suspension system here. This one has a solid axle here. It's a torsion suspension system. There are drum brakes on all four of the wheels there. You can see two axles clearly there. We also have a water tank right here with a protective cover over it. All of the wiring here looks like we have protective conduit in place. All looks fairly neat and tidy under here. The chassis has this, this textured paint all over it. It's sort of like a, perhaps an anti-scratch bed liner. There's another water tank over there. Two 95 litre tanks. It's quite a common suspension system for caravans this torsion system. Generally speaking, it's not considered as an off-road suspension system. This is more like your uh, suspension you will see on a caravan that's designed just for road use only because it has less range of movement. What do you reckon, Tristan? Actually, this is quite a nice modern van. It's very innovative. It's it's really elegant. It's got a nice finishing. It's got a great design. Uh, very spacey. The only thing it doesn't have in this is bunk beds. So you know, if you're travelling with a big family, it might not be that ideal. But this does convert into a bed. You, you could definitely get yeah, two you kids. Could get two, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like ten-year-old would be yeah, exactly probably like 
you'd be maxing them out mm. on here, but... Yeah, but you you would be able to get other regions of bunk, so maybe then this just specific model is not for you if you want bunks, but it is a nice van. Kitchen is really nice, and the overall attention and detail of this van has really been pulled out. Really yeah, I would say a couple looking for luxury mm. and space, you would probably be interested in this because yeah. It is luxurious, it is spacious, and yeah, like we mentioned, you could sleep kids, but it's probably better if you just leave the kids at home and just you and your partner just go and have a romantic time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I think the kitchen is probably the most impressive part of it for me. I like to have a bit of space to move. I want a big fridge. I want bench area where I can lay out some ingredients and actually put a nice meal together and this actually meets the, those requirements. So if you're a little bit of a gourmet wannabe chef, is that you? If you want that, if you like that, you can uh, dance around in here and make something special for your loved ones. What do you reckon, Jason? Would you buy this van? Is this our van? Mate, I reckon me and the wife? I'm not sure about you and I, mate. <laughs> you we, haven't, we haven't we haven't <laughs> found our van yet, but this is you and your wife's van. Yeah, you've been messing up my my cafe. What's this called? Your cafe lounge. <laughs> my cafe. Club lounge. It's yeah, a club you, lounge. You've been messing up my club lounge with all your bed materials <laughs> and pillows. The fact and... that I have to sleep at night. <laughs> God forbid. Yeah. Okay, so, well, this this may not be Jason and my perfect van, but it's Jason and the missus' perfect van. So we still got to continue our journey, but let's give a special shout out to our friends here at uh, Ingenia Holiday Park for letting us come here and uh, use the facilities and film for the day. So yeah, yeah you guys are legends. Yeah. We gave them absolutely no warning that we were coming today. We just <laughs> rocked up and said, hey, can we, can we test out our van here for the day? So you guys are legends. Yeah. Thank you. And Maybe don't do what we did. Yeah, you definitely man, should make a book. They may not like it, yeah, and uh, email <laughs> oh, instead of letting them know you're going. Yeah, right. I mean, if you rock up and there's a space, they'll let you in. Like, that's fine, but we just took the risk today. Yeah, so thanks, guys, you're legends. And we'll see you in the next series. And we'll oh, episode, and brothers. we're going to the Regent Factory to see how this gets made because we're, we're all... We're going to the Regent Factory? Yeah. We all, what? We're all about oh. affordability, practicality, quality, craftsmanship, local jobs. Who builds this stuff? Who's, like, who's making this happen? We want to know. We're getting to the bottom of it. I hope you want to know this stuff too because that's what we're all about. Maybe we can actually check out what a van would look like with bunks if they got any on the floor so no promises guys but hopefully we can check that out okay see you later travelers fist bump <laughs>